in today's video we're gonna look at our 2000 trans am and see if we got a vacuum leak so we'll start with this 99 right here this is our map sensor right now of course you can hear the engine is off i'm going to show you when the engine is on how much kpa we're pulling so we're only pulling around like 70 kPa. Okay, so this is the machine we bought off Amazon. I have assembled it. It is a 12 volt source. We'll hook up the battery here. It pretty much, we would turn it on here. It'll heat up a coal inside and we'll add our air pressure, our, uh, what do you want to call it? Our air compressor, air hose to here and it'll push the smoke into the engine. I have various caps. Also bought this thing. It was one of those things, hey, the people who bought this machine also bought these. We'll see what's best. I plan on running it through our intake. So let's take that apart. So the first cap was too big. The second cap with tightening down our, our hose clamp was able to get that snug. So next, I think this is gonna be the right order. I'm going to drill a hole into our cup here with Unibit and I'm going to make this snug. So of course I took it out. I used this Unibit it only took the first notch. It's in there pretty good. Um, so happy with that. So next we're going to hook our, ooh, we got power, see that? And it says give it three minutes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it on. Oh, so that's on. And I'm gonna give it three minutes, it says up here, three minutes to warm up. And in fact, we might just play around with some of this. See when smoke, oh, you guys see smoke starting to come out. All right, so I tried using it without the air nozzle. Didn't really push anything out or, you know, airline. But now look, look at that, that's great. So now, let this thing do its magic. So it looks like our fitting here is giving a little bit. So definitely have to, which is pressurizing, but we'll definitely help that out a lot. See by getting a zip tie on it. So the zip tie didn't help, but made it worse actually. Let me go ahead and figure out something else for that. Nothing big, but random thought. I said, well, let me go ahead and open up the throttle blade and let that, um, smoke really fill our intake instead of just weeping on by and you can see smoke coming from somewhere but i think it's from our throttle shaft area well bittersweet can't find any vacuum leaks it looks to be put together pretty well all right looking back here for smoke i was really hoping something maybe out the vacuum uh, port in the back, but no smoke at all. Uh, nothing out the valve covers. I did take the brake booster off. The check valve's working. Took the hose off check valve and smoke came pouring out. I mean, it's pretty pressurized. Only one thing we found was was that. And I don't think that's going to cause enough vacuum leak. Being it's vacuum, it would suck it down. So it is what it is, but anyways, if someone's looking to look for a vacuum leak, this is a, about a hundred bucks on Amazon. I think it was like 119 and this was like, I don't know, a couple of bucks. And then I bought this, but it's kind of an oddball size, but I'm hoping maybe I can use this for the gas cap area. We'll see when I start looking for uh, mission leaks. So, well, that's doing a vacuum test on your your ls engine pretty easy and bittersweet 